Innovation tournaments are a key mechanism by which organizations find exceptional opportunities. Let me give you three examples. Tonight, more of you than care to admit will spend two hours watching American Idol. <laughs> American Idol is actually a remarkable system by which over a quarter of a million aspiring singers are filtered and selected until one pop sensation remains. The X Prize Foundation offered a $10 million prize for the organization, for the team, that could create a practical automobile that would get the equivalent of 100 miles per gallon. This contest attracted competitors like Tata Motors, Daimler Chrysler, and also Tom from Maine, who built his vehicle in a barn out of bicycle parts. The remarkable innovator Google fields today on their website more than 100 beta versions of its products, including products like Google Translate, Google Sites, Google, Google Orchid, in the hopes that a few of those will be identified as the next Gmail or Google Maps. These are three very different examples, but they share an identical structure in terms of basic problem solving, which I call an innovation tournament. A large number of raw opportunities are either generated or identified, and one or more development steps and filters are applied until only a few exceptional opportunities remain. Innovation tournaments are ubiquitous. They're used by essentially every organization, and if you think carefully, you probably use them yourself in some aspect of your own problem solving and innovation. So the question isn't whether to use innovation tournaments. The question, question is, can we manage them more effectively? My colleague Christian Turbish and I wrote a book that's got about a dozen ways to manage innovation tournaments to, to achieve higher performance. Today I'm going to talk about two of those methods. Now the bad news. Both of those methods take the perspective of probability and statistics. All right. So we're going to look at a little data. This is a histogram of 234 opportunities generated by 47 of my executive MBA students in response to the challenge of creating a new web-based product or service. 234 ideas for new businesses. And they're shown here on a vertical axis that's a quality rating, and I won't say how they're rated, but just trust me on that, a quality rating of 1 to 10, with 1 being terrible and 10 being amazing. Now, if you look at that, uh, it has hopefully what uh, the expected shape, which is most of the ideas are, are fives and sixes, and there are relatively few terrible ideas. The worst idea here was a, was a website called Revenge Social Networking. <laughs> and, and the very best are also quite rare. The one at the top was an idea for brokering medical tourism. All right, so there's some data. And I want you to to bear with me a bit here with an assumption that if we could gather together, if we have here gathered together 234 opportunities, that's a big number, that this empirical distribution, this, this data, is a pretty good representation of what the universe of opportunities look like out there. Everyone with me by that? So, that? so that if we were to think about a universe of opportunities, it would have this basic distribution. All right, now if we accept that view of innovation, that what tournaments do is draw from this distribution in order to identify the very few exceptional opportunities, then there are two implications we could draw from probability and statistics. And they give us insight into the two main levers, or two key levers, on improving the performance of tournaments. The first insight is to take more draws. And that is to simply generate more opportunities. Now, to give you the intuition, this is not a deep idea, but let me give you the intuition behind it, which is if you're looking for a center for your basketball team, you're looking for a tall individual, the, the tallest person that you identify in a set of candidates who try out is going to be taller if you get 1,000 people in your tryouts than if you get 100 people in your tryouts. Right? Now, we can actually... Uh, quantify that using a branch of statistics called extreme value theory. And so I'm going to show you a graph which is going to be 
the quality of the best idea you have as a function of the number of ideas you have. And so let's see what that looks like. It has this shape. So the vertical axis is how good is the best of the ideas you have on a 1 to 10 scale. And this is how many ideas you have. All right. Now I use the word ideas, but an innovation opportunity could be a person, could be a company, could be a product, anything that's in our innovation tournament. Now the, sh the curve has the shape you would expect, which is it's increasing at a decreasing rate. Meaning as you consider more and more opportunities, the best of those opportunities had better get better, but at a decreasing rate. So more precisely or more, more specifically, if I generate 50 opportunities for this distribution, for this domain of web-based products and services, I would expect on average the best idea to be about a 7.2. If I were to generate 200, I would expect it to be, I don't know, 7.8. All right? So while, that, so while the shape of that curve is intuitive, I find those numbers fairly striking. Most of us operate in organizations down in here. Right? We feel we get really excited if we have 20, 20 ideas. We have a list of 20 of things we're considering doing, whether it's an idea for a new venture, whether it's a company considering a new product, whether it's candidates for a job. And yet for this domain, new ventures in web-based products or services, I would argue that there is substantial benefit to up until around 200 or 250 uh, ideas, considering 200 or 250 ideas. All right, so that's the first lever. Have more ideas, take more draws from the distribution. The second insight is that if you think of this as the distribution from which the innovation tournament is drawing, the second insight is that variance is your friend in innovation tournaments. And let me say what I mean by that with a simple example. Let's imagine that you operate a pizza restaurant. And every night, you make 100 pizzas. Now, if you could characterize the quality of the output of the pizza, you might imagine it having a distribution like this. Right? You just imagine if you could measure quality of pizza, you'd expect it to have some, some variance. You might characterize it with a mean and a standard deviation or, or a distribution like that. Now, I want to give you a choice as a manager between two alternative distributions. All right. This is a distribution in which you've squeezed out all the variants. All right. So you're producing pizzas every night of absolutely identical quality, 100 pretty good pizzas. Right? This, on the other hand, is a distribution in which it has the same mean. Actually, all three of these have the same mean, but very different variants. So this is a distribution in which you make, unfortunately, 99 inedible pizzas but one utterly sublime pie. <laughs> All right. Now, as a manager of a pizza restaurant, and really, according to pretty much every principle in management, we strongly prefer this distribution. It's the whole idea behind the Six Sigma movement, behind the reduction of variability in the quality management movement, and it's exactly the wrong logic for innovation tournaments. You would strongly prefer this. You would strongly prefer one great idea and 99 lousy ideas to 100 pretty good ideas. Now, why is that? You don't have to eat the pizza in innovation. You can at low cost, <laughs> you can at low cost discard the 99 bad ideas. That's what tournaments do, is they efficiently screen out the, the lesser opportunities so that you don't make further investments in them. And in that setting, Variance is your friend. Now, see, I can see some of you rolling your eyes and saying, there goes an academic perspective on innovation. But I'd like to argue this actually plays out in practice quite regularly. <laughs> Two or three years ago, the British version of, in the British version of American Idol, you may recall that Susan Boyle emerged as a finalist in the competition. And I would argue that if American Idol were run as a conventional entertainment business, if they were to go out and solicit candidates for the next pop sensation, they wouldn't go looking for middle-aged stay-at-home moms to be candidates. 
this was a system that benefited from a great deal of variance in the applicant pool, good and bad, because variance is your friend in a tournament. It's inexpensive to throw out the bad in the hopes that there's something really exceptional there. In the XPRIZE Foundation, many of you will be surprised to learn that the number nine team out of several hundred teams that included many of the major auto companies in the world was the West Philadelphia uh, Vocational Technical High School, five blocks from where we sit tonight. Again, if you were organizing an innovation effort to create an electric vehicle or a high-efficiency high vehicle, it's not clear you would go to the West Philadelphia Vocational Technical High School as a source of inspiration. And yet, by, op by, by, by welcoming variants, by allowing those competitors to enter uh, freely, we were able to identify a real exceptional opportunity. And even with Google, Google has human resource policies, recruitment policies, and innovation management policies that encourage engineers to invest in their own ideas, however wacky, with up to 20% of their time, uh, including, so if you were to look on the Google Labs webpage, you would find products like Google Tashkil, which is a tool to add missing diacritics to Arabic text. Google welcomes that variance because while that may not become the next YouTube, there's some possibility that that variance will allow an exceptional opportunity to come through. Innovation tournaments are ubiquitous. They have the same basic structure in all organizations. They take a large number of draws from a, from a universe of opportunities, and one or more development steps and filters are used to identify the exceptional few. There are many levers to improve performance. Two key levers are take more draws, and variance is your friend. 